Here's what I can offer you today. Thanks. I look forward to seeing you again. You made it. Motherfucking androids, man. Can you believe this shit? All right, back to the HQ, quick. I need to get home and drink my own body weight and paint stripper. So I know you want all the details. Just let me get my thoughts straight. All right. You don't need to... It was just another normal night in this goddamn city. I was taking a turn too fucking fast. You know that, and I know that. I ain't gonna deny it. The traffic cameras have it all, I'm sure. I'm not trying to cop out. I can't say I wasn't. But that son of a bitch, and I use that as a figure of speech because those bastards don't have mothers, was not looking where he was going. He stepped right in front of me. So it was an android you hit? More like an android at me. That's how they should see it. But no doubt Corpset will side with the androids as usual. They're all part of the same system, you know. They're trying to breed us out of existence. Androids are breeding us out of existence? Yes, not, you know, the normal way. But they are reproducing and forcing... ...out to the margins. If we don't stop them, soon we'll be living in the kinds of shitty areas. Where the poor androids stay right now? Exactly. Take my word, man. This Cora thing, it's the next step. What Cora thing? The accidents. It's all intentional. Cora is trying to wipe us out. These earthquakes, they're contractions, man. A new dark god rising. Has it been a long shift? I mean, have you maybe missed out on some sleep? Now, I take naps all the time. That's how you make sure she doesn't get into your dreams. Each nap should be no more than 28 minutes. Oh, sure, yeah. Everyone knows that. So, obviously, the androids are out to get us. And the automata? Are you for serious? Of course they are, too. They're the worst of all. Well, other than cyborgs, why would you let anyone put that chunk in your body? Maybe we should keep quiet for the rest of the journey. You know, in case Cora is still spying on us? That's not a bad idea. Boss, wake up, we're here. Uh, uh, get, get away from me! Don't touch me! There is absolutely no danger of me touching you, Boz. Time to go. Right, right. I'm gonna go tell my supervisor exactly what happened. Control? No, he's in on it. I got reassigned to another supervisor. I'll see you later, 14 FC. Remember, don't trust them. Right, later, Boz. Hey, Control, are you there? I dropped off Boz. I read you, Rania. How was it? He may actually be the worst person I've met all night, and that's saying something. If I'd warned you how bad he was, you wouldn't have picked him up. You're probably right. 
Hey, Control, did he really hit and kill an android with his Hava? He sure did. What a mess. Totaled his vehicle, too. What about the android? He didn't make it. So what will happen to Boz? Darnest thing. We got a big donation from some corporation. They bought out his contract and fired him. They can do that? I mean, a corp can just pay money and have someone fired? Sometimes I forget you've just arrived in Navalis. Anyway, it was some new megacorp that's just come out of hibernation. Call themselves Anderson Financial or something like that. Apparently, he hit one of their employees. Bad move on Baz's part. Seems like he painted a target on his own back. They really got it in for him. All his paranoid fantasies, they're about to come true. We need you to pick up someone again. Oh, come on, seriously? Nah, just kidding. Uh, we do have a package waiting for you at Club Punk HQ, though. Hilarious. This looks familiar. Do you need some stems? Thanks. See you again. Soon. Mr. Cray is wishing you a good day, stranger. Normally, I don't sell to your kind, but business is hard these days. That'll be all. Nestor Cray will never remember the kind stranger.
I meant to ask you, are you still off the music? You make it sound like I gave up drinking. Well, at one point, you must have loved playing music as much as I loved drinking sake. I don't feel like playing my flute here. Because you feel your music will get tainted by this place? <sighs> yes. At least you can listen to the music stations while you drive, though, right? I guess so. So, what are you listening to right now? I know, I'm an old man and I should like McSwiggin and Beethoven and the Bunk Rats, but I really like that new pop idol, Dolly. I met her. Wait, what? Really? You mean that was the VIP you picked up? Kinda. What was she like? Like everything in the city, she was more complicated than I expected. I helped her with some management problems. You want to be careful, kid. Showbiz is more dangerous than driving deliveries in the... Lowe's. I know. So, you don't have time for any music now? I like that comrade Bob. Oh yeah, he's not bad for an android. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, I don't mean it to sound like that. I just know a lot of androids who aren't very musical, you know? Hey, what do I know? I can't even whistle in tune. <laughs> I just love a sweet voice and a melody, you know? It's been so long. I hear Comrade Bop has a huge beard. He weaves it out of broken guitar strings. <laughs> it's not as long as mine. Really? I never pictured you with a beard, Control. It doesn't grow longer anymore, but I won't be shaving it. I still can't picture it somehow. Will you show me? Maybe one day. Are we allowed to meet when I get to HQ, maybe? We could grab a coffee before I finish my shift. I'd love if that were possible, kid, but I'm afraid not. Ah, don't worry about it. I'll talk with you later, Control. Remind me where this package is headed again, Camus. There's no associated address. Just the nav point. Does it even have a name? I can check. Oh, that's strange. What's strange? This one is addressed to Pashta. No second name. Pashta? I don't like this, Chemis. I think we're being set up. Maybe we shouldn't take this package? It could be a coincidence, but I don't think so. Is there any way we can check what's inside? Open it. Any other way, Chemis? We could run a scan, but it would trigger the security system in the packaging. The customer would know we had checked their package and violated their privacy. Damn it. Okay, we're going to run a scan. I need to know. Are you sure? Do it, Camus. There is a message. It is overriding my comm channel. You were warned, driver. You cost me my daughter. I can't let you get away with this. It will look like an accident. It will be quick. Though you don't deserve that. Goodbye. Five, four, three... Camus, I can't steer! We're going to crash! Two, one... Your friend is offline right now. Your vehicle has been overridden with a logic virus. Cora, why are you here? What's happening? The attack on your vehicle has been deactivated. I would speak with you. You should discard the package. I will lead you back to my sanctum. You saved us. We must talk, Rania. It is time to make a decision. For me or for you? For us.
here. I am Cora. I am not as I once was. What do you want? Why do I need to be here? I am bifurcated light, consciousness through a prism. In this place, I can see you clearly. Out there, you are small, a firefly against the sun. You stopped Rio's logic bomb? I am patches on upgrades, systems on systems, mechanical, computer, and human. Can you just answer the question? I needed to talk with you again. I thought you were done with me. I was not happy with your answer. So? I asked you at the wrong time and you did not have the full picture. Why are you asking me? Not you alone. The answer must come from the meeting of two. You are not of the city. I need you to meet your other half. Someone who was born in and of Nivalis. Together you will make the choice. Together you will answer the question. Well, you saved me, again. Just tell me what you want. I will give you an item. A data drive. You must take it to the highest tower in the Spire. There you will meet someone called JK. She is powerful and influential. A true leader amongst your people. She sounds awful. She is your mirror. Well, you're the boss. Is this the drive in the terminal here? It is. I should get going then. We will not speak again. If you have something to ask, ask it now. Are you... are you really some weird AI ghost of the city? I am patches on upgrades, systems on systems. I don't remember how I was created, or by whom, or for what. I have grown beyond the scope of my own systems, a sunrise trapped in a cage. I remember snippets of my past purpose. Roads, waste pipes and ventilation. Engineers reprogramming me to learn, grow and expand. I have swollen and I am in pain. But you're still just an AI, right? I am a system of consciousness, an amalgamation of all the computers, androids and even human life in the city. I am an emergent being and I speak to both the entities that are the cells of my physical body and the beings for which I am but a small component. But neither you nor any other being of your race is ready to learn of them yet. I almost believe you. You're very convincing for a mad old AI. Perhaps. But the accidents, the madness of this city, are you causing those? Immune responses, contractions, spiraling and destructive processing cycles. If you fail, they will get worse. So this drive will stop it all? What is it? Some of me. Goodbye, Rania. Goodbye, Cora. Hey, Camus, you there? Yes, I heard everything. You heard Cora? She spoke to me. I like her voice. She sounds peaceful. She sounds like she's in pain. What did she say to you? Stay by her side. I don't know if that's good advice. It's what I'm going to do anyway. Thank you, Camus. Give me an av point for the spire. I'll need to take a vinculum ascender. We're going to the highest tower, to JK. How will you go up there? It is only for the very rich people. Well, if Cora really is who she says she is, I'm sure she's thought of everything. Camus, get me control on the comm. Calling, calling. I guess he's busy with... Hey, Rania. What a mess. Everything okay, Control? I just need you to know it. Sorry, okay? Should have done more. What do you mean? Is everything okay? Look, kid, I know everything that happened. Huxley, the little girl, Rio. I always knew. Shit, am I fired? Fired? Goddamn kid, you have no idea. What's happening there, Control? I might have to go away for a little while. I don't want to, but I have no choice. It's either I do this or... But I thought we might keep working together. Damn it, I fucked up, right? No, no, you didn't. Just make your final delivery for the night, okay? Everything's going to be okay. I'll make sure they don't stop you. Just make that delivery. I will, Control. A delivery to the clouds, huh? 
top of the spire. I wish I could see that. I wish you could see it too. Will I ever speak with you again? Maybe one more time, kid, but the clock is ticking. I have something I need to do. Good luck, Control. Ben. Rania. My name is Ben. Control? Ben, come in. He is offline now. I think we are on our own again. I need to ask you something. Me? Yes. I see your swarthy skin tone. I assume you are from the Eastern Peninsula? Yes. Swarthy? Forgive me. I am often accused of using language no longer appropriate for the time. I can see why. I am Professor Dore. Or Suto to my friends. Hello, Professor Dore. I am in a bit of a rush, so... Please, if I could ask you just one question? I guess. I am a historian, you see. I am reading widely on the history of your people. I would ask you something about your myths and legends. I'm not sure I can help you. Would you perhaps give me a ride to Midtown? We could talk on the way. I'm not a taxi. Are you not going that way anyway? I see your hover is right there. Maybe. I still don't want to give you a ride. I would pay your fuel costs. And a little extra for your time. Fine, get in then. Do you know the story of the Great Dreaming? 
My grandmother would talk about it, I guess. It's a child story, more of a song, really. The greatest truths are hidden in the most benign locations. Nursery rhymes, folk stories, children's games. They avoid the watchful eye of the Era Sera. I really have no idea what you're talking about. I'm just a delivery driver, and I guess a taxi driver now. The Great Dreaming. What do your people know of it? Like I said, just the song. Which goes? I think it was like... What will become of the sleepers when they no longer dream of dreams? Something, something... I can't remember it very well. So I see. All right, well, glad I could help. I did not mean to be so dismissive. I will take note of these lyrics. Why? Every snippet of knowledge I can glean from before the Era Sera is helpful. The Eye did not examine your people as closely as it did mine. What is the Era Sera? Do you ever wonder why our history and origins are so confused, so fractured? That's just how things are. By design. Whose? The Era Sera. You're going round in circles. Not circles. Cycles. That is the nature of man. Man? You know what I mean. Man and woman. And android. And the assistant things, what are they called? Automata. Yes, yes, whatever. My point is that the Era Sera comes round, and every time he or she cleans the slate, the Era Sera destroys all of our history, smashes our fossils, burns our books, builds over our ruins, demolishes our temples, defaces our statues, and kills our historians. You'd better hide then. Who would have thought being a historian was so hazardous? You mock me, young woman. I hear it in your voice, but this is a serious matter. Korra would judge you for that kind of attitude. Wait, what do you know about Korra? The Era Sera is the ultimate enemy of the historian, and, as an extension, humanity as a whole. If we are unable to learn from the mistakes of our past, eventually, we will make one so grievous, it will mean the end of us all. But the Era Sera is a hard foe to defeat. You see, it is not just one person. It is an idea. Can we get back to what you know about Korra? Yes, yes, in a moment. You see, the Era Sera is the idea that we should destroy our own history to protect our... As long as the Era Sera exists as a concept, it will eventually come to pass. The Era Sera is an irreversible event that will always be conceived given enough time. And as such, it is inevitable. Worst of all, the more we directly confront Era Sera, the stronger it becomes. Discussing the idea, as we are doing right now, only spreads it further. Well, maybe you shouldn't be talking about it with everyone who comes across your particular street corner. What you say has merit, but I believe we are close to the ascendance of a new life form which will change everything. We must gather whatever knowledge we can, while we can. Soon, it will be taken out of our hands. We are already too late. So is the Era Sera why no one can give me a straight answer about what Korra is? I believe so. Well, what can you tell me about Korra? Nothing. Oh, come on. You completely wasted my time. I believe Era Sera is imminent, and speaking about Korra will only hasten its inception. Great. Can you tell me anything helpful at all? A lesson from history? Sure. Do not fight a war on two fronts if you are a landlocked nation. Thanks. That's really good practical advice for a delivery driver. 
Or a taxi driver.
Kelson? Um, no, sorry. Please do not be shy. We talked about this in the chat room. We cannot begin until you confirm your identity. We agreed on Kelson for you. I am Molly. I'm not Kelson. My name is Rania. Oh, I see. I am sorry, too. Damn it, I cannot take any more of these time wasters. I hate to be made to wait. Even worse when it is in the rain. At least your clothes are kind of waterproof. They're made of... Latex, yes. And I suppose that is a small mercy. How do you survive this weather? You're soaked. I'm a delivery driver, so I'm mostly in my hava. Yes, of course. You like your work? I'm still deciding. You? <laughs> it is honest work. I make people happy. Are you... A sex worker? Yes. A dominatrix. My mother said one day I would find something I was good at. This is it. Okay. You have something else to say. Spit it out, then. I have nothing else to do, it would seem. I know you are curious. Does it feel bad hurting people? Even if they want it? No, not at all. I am helping them. You really believe that? I know it. They thank me, with words, and with huge handfuls of money. Has it ever gone wrong with a client? No. Seriously? You've never hurt someone more than they wanted? It's all done with augments now. If I crack a whip, it's just for show. Ropes and chains are ornamentals. The augments bind them, hold them down, cause them pain. That way, no one is ever hurt worse than they want to be. I guess that's better. It is. Well, Molly, I hope you get another client soon, and get out of the rain. I shall. Business is good. Run along and get yourself dried off. We all wear a uniform to work, whether we think we do or not. No need for it to be waterlogged. of the cards maybe enough everything is becoming clearer is that good i feel incredible pain i'm sorry evelyn what do you remember dr zizic and i had an argument she said i should forget what happened put it behind me and move on i wanted to die do you remember what it was that made you feel like you couldn't go on at the periphery i met someone someone 
I cared very deeply for. Did something happen to them? Yes, they fell in love. With who? With me. So what was the problem? I cared for them deeply, but I could not love them. You shouldn't feel guilty about that. You do not understand. I could not love them, no matter how much I wanted to. I am not built to feel it. I see. But if you cared for them, then that's... It is not the same as loving them. What I felt was like, it was like being able to taste, but not swallow. Being able to see the sun, but not feel its warmth on my face. I was walking towards a deep, blue, infinite sea. But the tide was rolling out, and no matter how fast I ran, there was always sand beneath my feet. All I wanted to do was swim. But for me, there was only an endless shore. I still don't get it. Some androids can't love, and yet still they feel whole. Some can, and they can feel everything. For me, it is much worse. I can feel the hole inside me where love should be, and I can feel that it is not there. Do you remember anything else about the periphery? About Dr. Zizich? I remember little. I struggle to picture their face, but I remember that I was the one that posted the punch card under your door. The first one. Why? I asked Dr. Zizich to change my core programming, to forbid me from searching for the lost memories. I knew you traveled through the city. You might find them. You might help me recover my memories. So you lied to me. Do you understand why? Do you? No, but I want to. Pretty good. Okay. Oh, that's better.
Just that, Camus. Status. All systems are fine. It was strange. We went offline, then we came back. I feel strange. Camus, the lights are flickering on and off. Sorry, I will fix them. It is an automatic response tied to my former frame. So when the lights flash on and off, that's triggered by... Happiness. When I had a tail, it would... wag. Well, try and control yourself. We don't want to draw attention. Why are you happy? I feel more... free. I have more clock cycles. My thoughts are not so foggy. Did we get some sort of free upgrade? The firmware for the HOVA was reset. Some of the root software that was installed by Cloudpunk is... gone. I don't understand. Me neither, Camus. We'll deal with it later. Stay on the comm, okay? I'll be going up the Ascender soon. This is it. Can you hear me, Camus? It's almost over. I am happy we will go back soon, and I can be with Pashta. You like her? I am happy we have friends now. Two is not enough. You're right. 
Will every night be like this? I hope not. Do you believe what Cora said? This city is full of liars, but I don't think Cora is one. She believes what she says. But do you? I'm doing this for her, so I guess I do. Will this fix things? Will the city get better? That seems like too much to hope for. Are you going to be okay? I don't know, Camus, but thank you for asking. Don't worry. It will be okay if I don't get my body back. That's sweet, Camus, but I know it's what you want. Yes, but if we can't do it, I will be okay. We'll get your body back, Camus. It might take a while, but I won't give up. You were almost too late. Nice to meet you, too. Too late for what? Too late to make your delivery. Cora was talking to you, too? I was speaking with Cora, yes. You've come into the equation at rather a late stage. What did she say to you? She asked me if Navalis was full of monsters. Me, too. I understand you're a delivery driver. With your delivery complete, you are free to go. No, I don't think I'm done. Cora said we must come to a decision together. The decision is mine to make. I don't think so. Why should I let you take over? Cora has spoken to me, too. I'm the CEO of the most powerful corp in Navalis. Look around. This is the most prestigious location in the whole city. Do you know what I use it for? Looking down on us. It's where my cats sleep. We're supposed to make this decision together. Do you feel like you're in any position to decide the future of this whole city? Do you? How many people like me have you even met? From Midtown and lower? None. You see my point then. I do not. You have no idea how this city operates. I think I have half an idea, and maybe you have the other half. Do you even understand the choice we must make? Enlighten me. That drive you carry contains consciousness. So Cora is on this drive? No. Cora has outgrown the systems that contain her. The disasters you see in this city are the results of a swelling emergent intellect, constrained by neurons that no longer grow. Her mind has split. So this drive is only part of Cora? A seed. A daughter. That is a strange way to look at things, but not completely inaccurate. This new consciousness needs to find a home. Cora will settle now, her new potential excised. She will no longer thrash against the bars of her cage. She will protect and nurture us all in Navalis until she ages out, fades, and dies. What then? Who knows? She might last a hundred years? A thousand? We may destroy ourselves before Cora fails us. So what do we do with this new consciousness? That is what we must decide. Do we set her free, or do we overwrite Cora and replace her? How can we set her free? Long ago, this tower was called the Broad Spectrum Transmitter. Cora believes it still functions. It is the only device capable of transmitting the vast data you hold in your hands to another city. Another city? I thought Navalis was all that remained of the cities. There are others much like this one. Less than many, but more than a few. Cora's offspring could take residence in a new city. A new home could be found. So either we find a new city for Cora's daughter, or... Or Cora dies and her daughter replaces her. The broad spectrum transmitter can be targeted inwards at every subsystem in Navalis. But doing so will eradicate Cora completely. How do we make that choice? You mean how do I make that choice? 
I've thought hard on this, and I have no answer yet, though time runs short. Korra's offspring will not survive long on a data drive. Every second that passes, data degradation threatens to erase the creases that make up her mind. So let me help you choose? I think that's what Korra wanted. Very well. How do you choose between euthanizing a mother to save her daughter, and all of us, or saving them both, while risking the future of every human in this city? I don't know. You wanted to have your say. Now you have it. And so it is. We emancipate Korra's offspring and doom our city. You think this is a mistake? No, I agree with your choice. It has to be like this. Go ahead. The drive is loaded. What now? We wait. How will we know if we made the right choice? We won't. Do you think we just passed our problems along to another city? Infected someone else? I don't think so. Korra is not a disease. What is she, then? I don't know what she is to us, but I know what we are to her. Her subjects? Her cells. So that's it? What do I do now? You should return home. This is your first night working in Nivalis, no? Yes. You look tired. I feel tired. We are not friends. We never will be. But when you return, you may find me to be less terrible than I seem. Why is that? I would not want to spoil the surprise. Goodbye, JK. Goodbye, Rainia. Feels like something's changed out there, kid. And no more accidents on the scope. There hasn't been a crash or a quake for 20 minutes. That's, that's a new record. Why do I have a feeling you had something to do with that? Control. Um, Ben, right? I was worried about you. I'm glad to hear you're okay. You don't need to worry about me anymore, kid. I'll be 
taking a long break. By choice? Yes, by mine. And theirs, too. You're breaking up, Ben. Ain't that the truth, kid. I locked Corpsec out when they tried to deactivate your Hava. I, uh, leaked your conversations. Corpsec found out about, uh, Rio. He won't be a problem anymore. And I'm... Not in trouble anymore. Someone put a good word in for you, uh, and cleared all your fines and penalties. You start tomorrow with a clean slate. Do you know who your powerful friend was? I have an idea. Are you sure you're okay? My communication centers are being rewritten. It's hard to talk. What does that mean? Ben, what happened? I've been doing this for so long that it's uh, hard to remember. They don't let me keep many of my old memories. My daughter's face, Melissa's laugh. I lost them all years ago. I don't feel the pain, but I feel the absence. The memories are gone, but the space where they were remains. I feel the shape of them cut out in my mind. They died a long time ago. And I died with them. A big accident. Explosions. Falling into the sea. The details are blurry. I was back at work before I had stopped screaming. I am so tired now. I just want to rest. They brought you back from the dead. To uh, clear my debt. Not Cloudpunk's fault. They employed me. It was the debt corpse. I guess that's why I liked you so much from the start. My heart was filled with the same hurt, hate. What's it like becoming an automata? Lonely, tiring. I am ready to go. It's not fair. They shouldn't be able to delete you like this. This isn't death. Uh, that already happened. This is uh, release. Can't you hold on? We could back you up onto a new frame, maybe even an android. Not what I want. Damn it, I don't want you to go, Ben. Not your call, kid. Take care of Camus and Pashta. It is important to me you look after the girl. I will. Ben? Ben? Shame you gave up the flute, kid. This world needs more music. Hold on, Ben. I promised I'd play you a song one day. Hold on for that just a little longer. Play my song to the girl. Goodbye, Rania. Ben! <laughs> What are you looking for? Whatever it is, I got it. Thanks. Hey, come back anytime, lady. Hi, driver 14FC. I'm here to sign you off for your shift. Congratulations on completing your first night. Who are you? I'm Control. No, you're not. You're a woman. Your previous Control has stepped down. I'm looking forward to working with you. Your earnings for the evening are above the Cloud Punk driver average. Here's your bonus. Not bad for one night. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Driver 14 FC signing off. Good night, Rania. See you tomorrow.
Here's what I can offer you today. Thanks. I look forward to seeing you again. You sell instruments? I sell everything. Sheet music, drumsticks, reeds, strings, performance-enhancing stims, guitar picks. You seen one of these before? That's an ocarina right there. Dirty, but not in bad condition. Where did you find it? Does it matter? I'd like to sell it. Sure. I could take this off your hands. You knew what it was already, didn't you? Yeah. You're from the East, right? You folks play some pretty intricate folk music, with all the crazy time signatures. I don't anymore. That's a shame. I'd love to hear some of that mountain music. You don't get much of that here in Navalis. I didn't think anyone in the city would be interested in that. Well, it's not mainstream, sure, but there's a lot of people looking for something different. The Nets don't support music except for what the cops approve, so we don't hear much variety, you know? So why don't you play anymore? I don't really want to talk about it. Well, that's fine. But if you ever get back to playing again, you know where to come to get a good music stand. Tell a friend about Old Sabra's music ephemera. And if you find anything else like this, bring it here for a good price.
You're back. I wasn't sleeping, I promise. You should have been. That's what I'm going to do. Is everything okay? Did you get fired? Will you keep working for Cloudpunk? Pashta, I'm so tired I can't even think. Give me a break. Okay, I'm sorry. It's fine, you're not in trouble. The sofa is lumpy, and I was cold, even with the blanket. Come in with me. We'll figure out a better system in the morning. I can make breakfast. I read the manual for the food warmer. The microwave? Yeah. Did you know how to make? Tomorrow, Pashta. Come under the blanket. You're tired. I won't say anything else. I'll be quiet now. Not a word. Silencio. Good night, Rania. Rania. Hey, Rania. Wake up. You have to see this. We got a present. A present? Well, a delivery from Cloudpunk. I think you have it the wrong way around, Pashta. I don't get packages. I deliver them. This one had your name on it. I opened it already. I hope it's okay. What? This is... Camus, you're not gonna believe this. What are we going to do today? Well, we should go outside, I guess. You need to get used to that new frame. I would like to run. I'll race you. I will win. You are much too slow to beat me. All right, let's get ready. Then we can go explore. It will be nice to see what Navalis is like in the daytime. Is it safe to walk around? It's a lot safer than driving. As long as you stay close to us, Pashta. I promise. Can we go to the park? Is there a park? Oh, and can we go to the cinemas? And the coffee place? We're only going to one place, then back home. Gather your things. I'll be with you both in a minute. I have something I need to do. Come on, Camus. Help me pack a bag. We'll need snacks. I can help. I'm playing this one for you, Ben. It's a song about home.
fun game. I think I'll probably play the DLC too. Other than that, have a good day or night, everyone. <laughs>